Go shopping for some oranges and I'm sure you'll get them in a red mesh bag. You'll rarely see them lying around without one of those. It's pure marketing. And that color isn't a random choice. When packed in a red mesh bag, oranges appear more orange, fresher, and more appealing to you. So you're more likely to buy them, right? Lemons are usually sold in green mesh bags for a similar reason. If you pack them in red, they'll appear more orange. Green goes better with yellow and makes those lemons stand out. You open a bag of chips and find it half empty, or half full if you're an optimist. Frustrating, I know. But I figured it's not because the manufacturer wants to get more cash out of you. The extra air helps to protect your chips from any damage. If the bags were filled to the brim, you'd get chip dust instead of chips after their transportation. A raspberry-flavored ice pop is typically blue, not pink, or red, which both would be more obvious color choices. Well, imagine you're making a pack of popsicles. You can pick green for apple flavor, pineapple or lemon is yellow. They're strawberry, so it should be red. Cherry, well, red again. Watermelon? Red. And now raspberry. Yeah, red. But four reds are definitely way too many, and people won't tell the difference between them easily. So, at first, both strawberry and cherry flavors were red, but of different shades. The watermelon one was pink. They made the raspberry ones of a deep, dark red dye. Then, scientists proved that that dye might be dangerous, so it was banned. Blue was another free color option, but there's no blue fruit or berry except for blueberry. And it's not a very popular flavor, so manufacturers started to paint raspberry blue. Sometimes, they call it blue raspberry. But it's just a lab thing that doesn't naturally exist. If you buy a clock or see a picture of it, it'll most likely show 1010 by default. The only reason behind it is that it just looks nice. You can see both hands, and they don't overlap. Also, it's symmetrical and nice, and it frames the 12. And finally, it makes a smiling shape that gives off a positive vibe. Mattresses usually have those decorative stitching patterns on them. Mattress manufacturers make a limited number of different mattresses, and the only way to make them look different is to come up with a fancy stitching pattern. Two mattresses of different companies might be the exact same quality, but cost differently. Most people will never know it and will decide that different patterns mean something in terms of quality. So, when shopping, don't mind the pattern at all. Cheese has holes. In most types, they're small, but they can also be huge. Cheese is made by adding bacteria to milk, and the holes are the result of it. Those bacteria consume lactic acid and release little gas bubbles. They're trapped in the cheese, and then they pop, forming those little holes. That big, toothy spoon is great for grabbing spaghetti out of the pot, but you can also use it before the dish is even ready. See that hole in the spoon? It's there to measure portions. However many dry noodles you can fit into it, that's the amount one person needs. Your frying pan also has a handy hole in it. That big one in the handle is there to hold your stirring spoon. That way, you won't get sauce all over the top of your counter or stove. And of course, you can hang the pan on the wall to save space. You can also hang your ruler on the wall, maybe next to your frying pan. That's why they have a hole in one end, not for spinning the ruler around on the end of your pencil, though that's fun too. If you're a truck driver, you might be familiar with this one. The rumble strips on the side of the road are there to wake up sleepy drivers who doze off behind the wheel. When your tires drift off onto these strips, the noise and vibration work like an alarm clock. Black coral eyeliner was originally made to protect the eyes from the scorching sun. The ancient Egyptians and pirates made use of it. Um, does that explain those black stripes football players paint under their eyes? The kings, depicted on playing cards, are real historical figures. Spades is King David, clubs Alexander the Great, hearts Charlemagne, and diamonds Julius Caesar. They say a mattress doubles in weight after 10 years because of built-up dust, mites, flaked-off skin cells, sweat, 
body oil, and other things that don't sound too pleasant to sleep on. Sorry, but an old mattress does contain all those things, but there's no scientific proof that it gets two times heavier because of them. So, good news? Those two holes in a lollipop stick may make for a cool after-treat whistle, but they're actually there to hold the candy in place. The stick is dipped in hot liquid syrup, it flows into the holes, solidifies, and is firmly stuck to the stick. As for the hole in your pen cap, it's for safety. Too many people like to chew on the end cap of their pen, and they could accidentally swallow it. The hole is there in case that happens, to let air through so the person can breathe. That's also why LEGO characters have a hole in their head. We've been using post-it notes wrong this whole time. You're not supposed to peel it off from the bottom. This creates a crease in the paper, and the note won't stick as well. Tear it off from the side. It'll stick for longer. The blue half of an eraser wasn't created to erase penning. It's for pencil used on rougher paper. And finally, the biggest mystery of them all. Why does your shower curtain stick to you when you're in there trying to get clean? According to the shower curtain effect, the hot water lowers the air pressure behind the curtain. The higher, denser pressure outside the shower pushes the curtain in, making you feel like your shower curtain is out to get you. But no, it's just feeling a little clingy. It's not an accident that soy sauce bottles have two spouts. The sauce is liquid and it flows out of the bottle pretty quickly once you turn it over. Most Asian food lovers have spilled it at least once in a lifetime. That's why nowadays, restaurants prefer serving soy sauce in special bottles that have two spouts. This design allows you to control when and how much sauce will come out. Just put your finger on one spout when you pour the sauce through another. If you press your finger tightly to the spout, the sauce will stop flowing, and if you remove your finger, it will flow again. Oh nuts! Not all pistachios are easy to get. Therefore, people have come up with many devices and life hacks to split the hard peel. But what if you don't have any useful tools around you? Well, try to open a pistachio with another pistachio. These little candles in metal cups are called tea lights for a reason. Japanese tea houses initially used them for keeping the tea warm during traditional tea ceremonies. And today, you don't need any special equipment to do the same thing at home. Put the candle in a bowl and place your kettle on top of the bowl. The diameter of the bowl should be narrower than the bottom of your kettle. You can use the same technique to keep your food warm and even surprise your guests with delicious fondue. I am fond of fondue. How about you? Don't rush to throw away the metal cups and wick holders. You can reuse them. Take a wick out of a regular candle and cut it into pieces of suitable length. Put the pieces inside the wick holders, then melt the wax and pour it into the cups. You can add essential oils and crumble wax crayons inside the wax to make your own unique and fragrant handmade candles. Metal candle cup is also a great tool to cut cookie dough into small circles. If you wear baseball caps, you probably wondered why they have these eyelets on the back. These small holes in each of the six crowns of the cap provide ventilation to your head. Also, if the size of the cap is too large, you can regulate it. Insert a lace into the eyelets and tighten them. It may look a little weird, but at least the cap won't fly away in the wind. A hair straightener is an excellent tool for not only treating your natural curls, but also for fixing crumpled money or documents. You can also use a regular iron for this purpose. Just make sure you don't turn on steaming mode. Otherwise, there's a risk of damaging the paper. Back to food. When your long-awaited yummy pizza finally arrives, don't rush to throw away the box. Tear the lid off along the fold line and divide it into four squares. Perfect disposable plates for pizza slices. Very handy when you eat outdoors or just don't want to wash the dishes. Well, grab a bag of chips and you'll probably see little colored circles. They're made by the manufacturer to test the color that will later be used on the package. Such circles are called color control patches. These patches help to make sure that no paint and packaging are wasted. If they're off, the manufacturer will know that the color of the whole package will be off too. These blocks allow printers to find a surplus or deficiency of color and solve the issue. Now take a good look at a milk jug. 
there's often an inverted circle on one of its sides. This dimple is there to make the jug more resistant and to prevent it from rupturing if it falls to the floor. The dimple provides the liquid with some extra space if it needs to expand. Also, when the expiration date approaches, the microbes in the milk begin to produce gases. More and more of these gases get trapped inside, and so the pressure in the jug is increasing. Thanks to the dimple, the gases can expand, which prevents the jug from exploding. Almost every barcode has a long row of numbers. If the barcode can't be scanned for some reason, the cashier can enter them instead. The number usually consists of 12 digits. The first one indicates the type of product. For example, 2 is used for weighted products like meat, and 3 is for health-related items. The next 5 digits are the manufacturer's code. They provide information on which company makes the product. The next 5 digits are the identifier of this particular product. For example, apples or oranges. The final digit is called the check digit. It's there to control that the others were entered correctly. There's a particular formula to calculate this digit, and it's used for each product. If a barcode is typed incorrectly, and the last digit doesn't correspond with what was typed before it, the computer will let the cashier know that there was a mistake. There are also those stickers with numbers on fruit. They're not random, of course. They indicate how the food was grown. A four-digit code means that the fruit was grown conventionally, meaning it can contain chemicals and pesticides. So your best choice should be a fruit with a five-digit number. But watch out! If the number starts with an eight, it means that the fruit was genetically modified. The best fruit to choose is the one that has a five-digit code that starts with a nine. This means that the product is certified as organic. On the bottoms of plastic bottles, you can often notice a mark with a triangle and a number engraved in the middle. This number specifies the type of plastic that was used to produce the bottle. These codes help people and local recycling centers to sort the returns. Those products that were made of plastics of type 1, polyethylene terephthalate or PET, and 2, which is high-density polyethylene, can be recycled. Type 3 is the plastic used to make plastic toys and household products. It can't be recycled. All other types of plastics can sometimes be recycled. The Mozilla Firefox logo is a fox embracing the planet. The original browser's logo was a phoenix bird reborn from its flames designed in 2002. Back then, the browser was named Mozilla Firebird. Two years later, they changed the name to Firefox. It's the English nickname for the red panda. It's a rare and protected animal from Asia. There's a bear standing on its hind legs hidden within the famous Toblerone logo. The mountain-shaped chocolate bar was created in Bern, the Swiss capital, by Emil Baumann and Theodor Tobler. It's nicknamed the City of Bears. It has a bear featured on its coat of arms. That's why this animal is featured in the image of the Matterhorn Mountain that inspired the logo. The image of a happy girl in Wendy's logo was inspired by the daughter of the fast food chain's creator, Dave Thomas. Wendy is her nickname. If you look closer, you'll notice her collar spells out the word mom. Whether intentional or not, it became something to mean a homely feel the restaurant gives its guests. 941, set as the time in iPhone's ads, isn't a random choice of numbers. In 2007, Steve Jobs first introduced the iPhone to the public after a 41-minute presentation at exactly 9.41 a.m. The first Apple logo was designed in 1976 and featured Sir Isaac Newton sitting under a tree. With an apple about to fall on his head, it seemed too complex and unclear to many, so Steve Jobs wanted it replaced. The designer of the new logo, Rob Yanoff, made it an apple we all know today. He was most likely inspired by the original logo, but wanted to make it more simple. He added the bite so that no one would confuse it with a cherry a peach, or any other round fruit with a stem. Without realizing it, he added a fun pun to the logo. Bite seems very much like the computer term. Toyota's logo symbolizes the merge of the hearts of customers and the company. Two overlapping ovals stand for T for Toyota and the steering wheel. The outer oval is for the world embracing Toyota. The background space represents the infinite values of the company. Great quality, value beyond expectation, the joy of driving, innovation and integrity and safety, the environment and social responsibility.
Life insurance for Apollo 11 astronauts cost a fortune since the mission was so risky and unpredictable. The astronauts couldn't afford it, so they signed hundreds of covers that their families could sell to fund some big expenses in case anything went wrong. Snickers Candy Bar was created by Frank Mars, founder of Mars Inc. It was inspired by an already existing snack made of nougat, peanut, and caramel, and named after Mars's family horse. Until 1990, they called it a marathon candy bar in the UK. As soon as they switched the name to Snickers there, it went from the number one selling candy bar in Britain to the number three. Microwavable instant rice loves to fall over in the microwave, if you're me, that is. And like me, you've probably struggled with keeping the package upright. As it turns out, the flaps that fold out from the bottom create a nice sturdy base. Push them out and give it a try. Hey, why didn't I learn this in school? Has that half-finished 2-liter bottle of soda left over from pizza night gone flat? Rather than pouring it down the drain, add it to your compost heap. The sugar feeds good microorganisms and increases the acidity of the pile, helping organic material break down faster. Any pair of scissors will go blunt sooner or later, but don't let that stop you. There's a product in your kitchen that can help bring them back to life fast. Mm. Aluminum foil isn't just for leftover lasagna. Fold a sheet of it into quarters and start cutting. Cutting through the foil will sharpen those scissors right up, but not if they're too blunt. Rescue them while there's still time. Those little escalator brushes aren't there to clean your shoes, even though they can do a rather good job. These bristles are actually a serious safety feature. Without them, Clothes, shoelaces, and bags can get caught in them when they're too close to the sides. The little brushes are also there to tickle you, to remind you to look down and take care. Hey, I always thought it was a bug rubbing up against me. Half belts. Seriously, what's up with those things? Well, some military jackets used to double as blankets, and the half belt helped keep the extra material from getting in the soldier's way. Nowadays, they're mostly used as a fashion accessory. Accidentally stapling the wrong pages together is like the worst thing ever. Well, there are worse things, but it's certainly annoying. Especially if the staple takes out a huge piece of your document with it when you try to pry it off. There's actually a simple way to make sure that the stapler pins are less tight and easier to pull out. Take a close look at that metal plate at the front of your stapler, known as the anvil. Turn the stapler upside down and adjust the settings. You're basically changing the stapler setting to temporary. No more tears, no more tears. Mention my name and you'll get a good seat. Toilet seat covers have been used wrong for way too long. I see you ripping off that flap that looks like a tongue. No, you're doing it all wrong. Instead of tearing it off, let the flap sit in the bowl after you put it down the cover. When you flush, the suction will pull on the flap and take it away. Most plastic bottles with soft drinks have five bumps in their bottoms. At the same time, plastic bottles that contain water and juice have almost flat bottoms, except for a little kink. A bottle is made by putting a plastic tube into a mold and blowing some air inside. This makes it expand until it takes the needed shape. The problem is that bottles usually have an outward kink in the bottom that makes them unstable. To avoid it, some air gets pushed inward from the bottom creating that small punt. Flat bottoms are more common because less plastic is needed to make them, but soft drinks and sparkling water need special treatment. These liquids have internal pressure that can push the plastic outward. This can mess up the punt and ruin the stability of the bottle. So, soda bottle bottoms have a curved shape because this way they're more pressure resistant. Compare folding a regular piece of paper and folding a paper tube the latter will have more resistance. Curved plastic is also more resistant to any pressure. Not all insects are attracted to light. Some of them are known to avoid it altogether. But those that are drawn to bright lights have their own reasons. Mosquitoes, for example, don't fly to a light source, like a bulb, because of the light itself. They're drawn to the heat that's coming from this source, which feels nice on a chilly night. Some bugs that eat flower nectar can mistake light bulbs for flowers. The thing is that nectar reflects UV light, 
and some light bulbs give off the same amount of UV light. That's why bugs might confuse them. Most cell phones that take high-quality photos have several cameras. Each of them serves its own purpose. One lens is typically used for close-up shots, helping make details sharper. The problem is that it's not good enough to capture things in motion, so a cell phone often has another lens for this purpose. All the cameras of a cell phone have to work together, otherwise their individual flaws won't let the gadget deliver the best result. Many plugs, like headphone jacks that you put in your devices, have little plastic rings on them. They're important because they separate different sections of a plug. These sections are called pins, and each of them serves a different purpose. Each plug will have at least one plastic ring, because any plug must be separated into at least two pins, one to cancel out any interferences and the other to carry the signal. If, for example, your headphone jack has one ring and two sections, they deliver the same sound to both your right and your left ear. If there are two rings and three sections, then one serves to cancel out interference and the other two are for each of the ears. Three rings and four sections mean that you have a set, one basic, one for each of the ears, and the last one is the microphone pin. Take a look at some regular aluminum foil. One side of it is always shiny and the other one is dull. When making the foil, they flatten it with rollers. The foil is so thin that the rollers tear it. To avoid it, the foil is folded, and two layers are rolled at a time. So, the sides that were facing the roller are shiny, and those that were in the middle, one facing the other, are dull. Those little rubber hairs on car or bike tires that seem to have hidden meaning don't really have any purpose. They appear during the tire production process. So, they mix rubber with carbon black and put it onto a tire mold. Then, it's spread all over under high air pressure. To make a good tire, the rubber should cover the surface completely, without skipping anything. But there's a problem. Air bubbles can form between the mold and the rubber. To make sure it doesn't happen, and extra air escapes, the tire mold has little holes all over it. Some rubber penetrates there, and once the tire is ready, the rubber that goes into those holes turns into little hairs. No one cares enough to remove them because that would take more time and effort, and those hairs do no harm. Car windows have those tiny dissolving black dots, and they are not there just for a fancy design. They're called frits, and they make the surface of a glass rougher, so that the adhesive can stick better and glue the glass to the car frame. Also, the black enamel blocks the UV light of the sun that can melt the adhesive underneath the bands around the window. The problem is that the black band heats up faster than the transparent glass, so the tiny dissolving dots help to distribute the temperature evenly. When you spend some time in the water swimming or bathing, your fingers and toes get all wrinkly. The skin has three layers. First, the subcutaneous tissue. Then, the dermis. That has the blood vessels and nerves. Finally, the top layer is the epidermis. It protects other layers and makes sure that the water doesn't evaporate from the body. The epidermis is made up of four layers, and the very top one of them, the stratum corneum, is what you see when you look at your skin. It has dead keratin cells that are constantly shed. This layer protects your body from the environment. If you expose the fingers or toes to water for a long time, those dead cells absorb water, and the skin swells. Since it's attached to the tissue, the wrinkles appear to compensate for the increased surface of the outer layer. It doesn't happen to the rest of your body because toes and fingers have the thickest layers of those keratin cells as body parts that are the most exposed to damage. Crackers have holes in them to stop them cracking and breaking during baking. If the holes weren't there, steam would build up inside the cracker and make it collapse. Take a look at a soda bottle and you'll notice a disc inside the bottle cap. This helps seal in the liquid and the drinks fizz, stopping it from going flat. The long neck on your soda bottle is designed like that to encourage you to hold it there. That way, the heat from your hand will only warm that top bit of the bottle instead of heating up your whole drink. It's always hard to see your food in the microwave because of that pesky black grate on the window, but it's there to stop harmful microwaves from escaping. Called the Faraday Shield, it protects you as well as ensures that your food cooks properly. Food items like chips come with about 43% nitrogen inside their package. It might seem like they sell you half a bag of air, 
but it's exactly the opposite. Oxygen, the gas we breathe, would react with the chips inside the bag and make them go rancid quickly. It's called oxidizing for a reason. Nitrogen, on the other hand, is an inert gas that helps keep the foodstuffs fresh and also protects them from breaking during transportation. A bag of chips that has this gas cushion lets you enjoy your crunchies without them turning to potato crumbs. Donuts have holes in them so that the inside and outside cook evenly. Before the holes were added, the inside would often be greasy and doughy while the outside was crisp. Margins on paper aren't for writing in dates and numbering lists. They were originally added to serve a protective function. Back in the day, rats used to be a pesky problem in people's homes, and paper was one of their favorite snacks. Margins were added as a safeguard so that the rats would nibble on blank paper, rather than taking a bite out of your important work. That hole in your hollow lollipop stick isn't to prevent choking should it ever be swallowed. It's actually there to keep the candy in place. Excess candy flows into the hollow tube, and the hole, which when it hardens, keeps the pop in place. If it was a smooth stick, the candy would slide off easily. Vacuums come with so many attachments, but do any of us really know what that one with long bristles is for? It's for dusting and is perfect for cleaning framed art, blinds, and lampshades. What's the difference between a wooden hanger and a plastic one? Aside from helping keep your clothes in shape, cedar wood hangers also repel moths and bugs. Salt isn't just used for cooking, it can get rid of tough smells. Rubbing salt on your fingertips after chopping garlic should remove the smell. It also works on shoes. The little piece of fabric you find in your new clothes, often with a button on it, isn't for emergency hole patching. You can use it to test if the material fades or stains in the wash before you get the whole thing in and can seriously damage it. The drawer at the bottom of your stove will keep your food warm for when you throw a party and have to cook plenty of dishes. The one that's currently in the oven will pass on its heat to the one in the drawer. In case you never know how much pasta to put in for boiling, use the hole in the middle of your pasta spoon for reference. It measures up to exactly one portion of dry noodles. When it's ready, you can use the spoon to take your spaghetti out like you normally would. The large gaps between the floor and the door in public toilets are there to make you feel uncomfortable and leave faster. It's also easier to clean such spaces and safer in case of emergency. The tiny plastic disc under the lid of your soda bottle is there to keep your drink fizzy. The cap prevents the liquid from leaking out, and the plastic disc holds the gases inside. Don't try to clean your shoes with escalator brushes. They are there to mark the edges of the steps. If you get too close to the edge, you risk getting your shoelaces or loose hanging clothes in the gap between the stairs and the wall. When you feel the brush on your leg, you instinctively step back into safety. There are several theories explaining why the King of Hearts is the only one without a mustache. One says he was designed as part of a poem. The king had four sons, and only one was cleanly shaven. He left him with no inheritance. Another theory says the mustache was just lost in the reproduction of the original design because of a mistake. It could also be a way to show that he is more honest and noble than the other kings. The Ace of Spades is larger and better decorated than the others because of tax laws introduced in England around the 17th century. Card manufacturers had to pay so-called stamp duty tax. They added physical stamps on the highest card of the deck to show that they've paid the tax. The tradition to decorate the Ace of Spades in such a way remained even after the tax had been cancelled. A jerry can can hold its contents even in the craziest of roads. Its triple barred handle across the top is designed to make sure the fuel inside is evenly distributed when two people are carrying it and hold on to it on either side. When you're doing it solo, use the middle handle to make things easier. The loops sticking out on the back of your boots are there to help you pull them on easier. Pull them up while you're trying to push your heel into the boot. You can also use them to hang your boots on the hook to dry after washing or when they're dirty. Or you can run the laces through them to tie them around your ankles. Most metallic zippers have little hidden groove locks inside to keep you from getting into some awkward situations. To help it do its job, don't leave the zipper handle in an upward position. It automatically locks when you pull it downwards.